Alrighty, what's going on everybody? So I'm sure everybody is seeing the crypto markets take a dive and I look at it as an opportunity. Obviously, there's uh, there's going to be a lot of waiting on my part before I get back into some uh, some projects. But one of the things that I am going to be taking advantage of is some of these discount prices for me to run projects that I am currently um, already a part of. One of those is pre-search, right? Um, if I'm going to, I'll link the video I did a few months ago on me setting up a pre-search node to run from my home. Uh, you can run it from a VPS as well. And what I'm going to be doing is most of you guys have seen my flow video and I'll drop, I'll, uh, I'll put that link up above as well. But, um, you know, for those of you running flux nodes, this is a really, really, uh, interesting opportunity where most VPS services are charging you about $10 a month to run a node. Um, Flux only charges you one Flux per month, which currently right now I think is like 63 cents. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go through the process of using your Flux node to run pre-search. And I know a couple of guys um, that, uh, that are actually going to be using or setting this up. So if you haven't already set up your Flux node, go through the process. Flux is at a discount. Let me tell you, it's 63 cents. So it's only going to run you for a thousand Flux. It's going to run you $630 to stake it. And I truly believe in Flux. I believe in the Web 3.0 project. Um, so, you know, I am very bullish on Flux. I, I think of this as just a discount. So not financial advice, right? I'm just telling you what I am personally going to be doing. So without further ado, let's let's get into pre-search, right? If if you have no idea what pre-search is, it is a decentralized search engine. Um, essentially, it's going against you know uh, Yahoo, if you know things like Google. Um, so what you are actually actually doing with it is you are going to be providing a server for searches to be conducted. So, and you can do this right on the Flux uh, app store, all right? Uh, pre-search, if you wanna see where you can buy some pre-search, right? Um, you can see right here under markets, I use CoinGecko, you can use CoinMarketCap. Just go on down and where I'm personally buying it is going to be on KuCoin, all right? You can buy it directly from the website. I'm personally not gonna be doing that because you can get a better rate from KuCoin. So right now, currently, 2000 pre is running you $152.33 US. So what I've done is I use Kraken as my one of my main accounts. And um, I actually use Algorand to transfer money into my KuCoin account. So Algorand, you can see right here, I, uh, I sent about 313 algo. It cost me a whopping 0.1 algo, uh, which I think is like maybe six cents, six cents, five cents, something like that to, to send it way cheaper than trying to fund it with fiat, way cheaper than trying to send Bitcoin, anything like that. So um, you can see it's a success. I just sent this over just now. So coming over to KuCoin, uh, there it is right there, 313. So what I'm going to do on KuCoin is I have my algo, right? I need to now uh, simply just make sure that it's in my trading account. So come over here to the main account. I'm going to transfer algo, right? And I'm going to send all of it into my trading account. So once that goes, now I'm going to come over to spot trading and I'm going to sell the Algorand and I'm just going to turn around and buy pre-search, right? I'm actually going to set up two nodes um, on my, through Flux, right? It's going to, because it's only, you can, I think, I believe you can do up to four nodes on your one. Um, so let me throw in. Hold on, let me throw in my trading password. Let me go over to Algorand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to market execute a sell for all of it. Perfect, all right, so I sold it. I'm just gonna go turn around and I'm going to buy pre-search. So I'm gonna come over here at pre and I'm going to market execute by 100% of that with, uh, with pre-search. Perfect, alrighty. Now what I'm gonna do is come over here to assets, okay? And I'm going to have to trade uh, or transfer, I should say, transfer this back into 
my main account on Qcoin. So I'll drop a referral link down below if you don't have a Qcoin account. It's one of my exchanges that I do use for some of the um, some of the, the coins that I can't purchase being a U.S. resident, right? So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to transfer from my trading account into the main account, right? So bear with me here. We are going to do come over here to trading account. I've got 1783 going to transfer all of that to the main account. And now when I come over to main account, you'll see that I have 14, uh, 4, 15 .78. So that's enough for me to run two nodes. All right. So how to set this up? Like, what do we need to do? Right? Well, there's a nice little through flux, right? There's a nice little thing that we have to do. We have to first go to flux. We have to log in with our Zelle ID. We have to go to the marketplace, select the pre-search node and all of that, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to pre-search. All right. Um, again, I will drop a referral link that you can sign up for pre-search. You'll get 25 free coins. Okay, with that referral link. And what we're going to do is I just need to transfer, right? So right here under transfer, after you go through and set up your name, your email, your 2FA, all of that stuff, once you get that set up, now what you need to do is you need to come over here and we're going to transfer pre, right? So here you can either buy it. Um, what I'm personally gonna do is from a blockchain, all right? I'm going to copy this address, come back over to Qcoin, and now I'm going to withdraw it, right? So I'm going to withdraw all of my pre-search out of here, right? I'm going to add in that wallet address. It's going to be on the ERC20 network, which sucks, right? So you can see it's going to cost me $11.55 or, right, 150 pre. It is what it is. Um, it's, you know, nothing I can do about it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer all of it, right? I'm going to transfer all 3,860. Okay, um, and before I do this, bear with me one second. Let me just see. I have 170 available stake. Perfect. Okay, no biggie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw. Confirm it. And now bear with me because I have to put in all of this. There we go. So we hit submit and we are withdrawing. Okay. So while that's happening, right, what we're going to have to do next, right, while I'm waiting on this transfer to go through, um, we're going to come back over here and we need to go to Flux, right? Open your web browser and go to home.runonflux.io. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to have to do <clears throat> is we're going to have to go to home.runonflux.io and it's going to bring you to this dashboard. If you're running your Flux node, you should be familiar with this dashboard. You're going to come over here and you're going to click the Zell ID and you're going to open up Zell Core because this is what we're going to use to sign all of the transactions. So I'm going to bring Zell Core off to the side here. Let me just log into it very quickly. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so what you're going to do off to the side is you're just going to log into Zellcor and put your uh, put your pin in just to give your confirmation. Okay, so we are logged in and now it is giving us a signing address, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to put our pin in and sign and send, right? So that's been done. I'm just going to cl click close and give it a second. And we should be
There we go. So you can see we're successfully logged in. And now what we're going to do is come down to apps, go to marketplace. From the marketplace, we are going to come into the pre-search node. From there, we need our registration code. So what you're going to do is come over to your pre-search node that you've already set up. You're going to log into your dashboard. So from the dashboard, it's right here. It's, you know, blocked out. All you're going to do is just copy your registration code. And you can see that our pre has already showed up available for stake. You're going to come over here and you are going to hit paste, right? So paste in the registration code. We're going to hit start launching the marketplace app. First thing is check registration. Just click next. You need to sign the app message. Just click on the Zelle ID. Go ahead and click open Zelle core. Off to the side, I'm just going to put in the pin and click sign message. You can see that it populates right here. We're going to click next. Register the Flux app. It is propagating the message across the Flux network. And there we go. So the next thing we're going to have to do is registration hash has been received. We're going to click next. And now we need to send our payment, right? So we're going to hit pay with Zellcore. And off to the side, you can see payment request received. We're going to go hit proceed to pay. And then I'm just going to click on my main flux where I where I'm mining from, right? So I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to hit send. Put in my pin. Okay, and what we're going to do is let me just pull this out of the way. So right here, it's telling you to finish the application update, please make a transaction of one flux to address to this address right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just copy that with the following message. So I'm going to put this into the address. Okay, so just click on pay with Zellcore and you're going to see that it's also automatically going to populate. So it's already got the the notes, it's got the address that you're sending it to, it's got the one flux. The only thing you need to do now is just click send. So we're going to click send, proceed with transaction, and we're done. That's it. So we've got it in the Explorer. She is all good. We've sent the one flux. Okay, and just keep in mind, you have to send this every month. Right. So and you can see um, this is the transaction must be mined by May 12th. The application was submitted on. Uh, I don't know why it says 11 6 2022, but it is what it is. No big deal. Um, and then we're just going to click finish. OK, so please ensure that you have paid for your app or save the payment details. Yes, we've paid for it. It is sent. So now what we're going to do is just coming back into our pre-search node we are going to wait okay we're going to wait because it's going to show up on our um, based on our registration code it's going to show up right over here so we'll uh, pause the video and i'll kind of give you an idea how long it's going to take uh, my guess about an hour so we'll be back okay so <laughs> Um, believe it or not, this only took about 15 minutes. So you can see, I thought there was only going to be four. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes that I can run with the one flux that I'm paying per month. So all you would have to do is this, right? We're going to come over here to description, right? And what I'm going to do is I am going to stake what I want to do in this, right? So hold on, let's go back to node list for a second. And again, just click on the little uh, pencil 
what I'm going to stake is I'm going to stake 2000 pre, right? Um, I am going to description. I am just going to put flux node one. Okay. I'm going to send myself an email when they connect or disconnect in case I need to do anything with it and consider disconnect after five minutes. Sounds good for me, right? So now I'm just going to hit update. All right. And there we go, right? She's nodes been updated. I'm going to go back to the node list and you can see that's taken the 2000 flux or I'm sorry, 2000 pre leaves me with 2000 left. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next one. And actually, I didn't know there was going to be seven of them. I actually may um, go ahead and pick up some more pre, but just so you can see, you know, again, I've got the remaining 2000 I'm going to put in here. The description is I'm going to make it flux node two. Okay, send an email on disconnect or reconnect, and I'm going to hit update. So there we go. That's that's pretty much all you have to do to set it up. OK, and from there, what's going to happen is now keep in mind with uh, some of the reliability scores and stuff like that. This is going to take some time. It's going to take probably, you know, three to five days for everything to be up and running. Uh, you can see that we're running the current uh, version. And in reality, I mean, I'll tell you, I'm running a Raspberry Pi from my home. I have a very, very quick um, uh, fiber optic internet service, but when we go to stats, um, you'll be able to see, I mean, my reliability score is low. It's in the 70s, and why is it in the 70s? It's because of my latency, right? My average latency is 1,500 milliseconds, and there's just nothing I can do about that. So hopefully the flux node uh, speed is going to be uh, better than that. And, you know, we'll kind of see how that goes. Okay, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, all in all, you know, I'm pretty happy so far. You know, we, um, I am going to go back and actually, I didn't know that you can run a total of seven nodes. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to set that up and uh, I'm going to fill this out, especially if, um, you know, if even if pre goes even lower, I may actually wait for the morning and just see if it goes even lower and, and pick up some more pre. So that's great. I'm happy about it. And if you have any comments, questions, drop it down below. And until the next video, I'll catch everybody later. Thanks for hopping on.